Hey people, it's me, Anya. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to a new Swiss video. So, the first book on this list is called Oli de Portals, written by Justin A. Reynolds. This book is a YA contemporary, and it follows Jamal, whose best friend dies, and after a freak accident, they're like brought back to life, but they only have a short amount of time together before his best friend dies again. So, I enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars. It was good. If you didn't know, Justin A. Reynolds is the author of Opposite Boys, which is why I was like eagerly excited for this book. But honestly, I would say that Opposite Boys is superior to this book, just because I just preferred it more. And like the alternate, like fantastical element in Opposite Boys, I prefer to this one. So that's just like a personal preference. But anyway, in Early Departures, I really enjoyed all the relationships developed in this story. Were so so wonderful justin a reynolds does just a great job developing friendships and romantic relationships and all of that fun stuff jamal the protagonist his characterization grew on me the themes in this book were deep and wonderful and really really good and yeah i rated this book four stars so yay the next book on this list is called i hope you're listening this book is a ya thriller and it follows delia whose best friend disappeared a year ago no, not a year ago. Way more than a year ago. I don't know what I'm talking about. Her best friend disappeared a decade ago. And now, in honor of her best friend, Delia hosts an anonymous podcast dedicated to missing people. So when history in her town begins to repeat itself, Delia must discover how far she's willing to reveal herself in order to uncover the truth. This story was so, so good. I really enjoyed the fast-paced, action-packed plot. Delia is a very realistic character. I enjoyed the sapphic romance. That was the B plot. I enjoyed that. And yeah, overall the story was so, so good. I ended up rating it four stars. Honestly, I would say that this story was everything I wanted a good girl's guide to murder to be. And if you know, I read a good girl's guide to murder at the beginning of quarantine in March. I didn't like it very much, but many people on booktube loved it. So basically, if you are a fan of that story, I'd recommend this story to you because it was just so, so good. So, yay. The next book on this list is called Daughters of Jubilation. And this book is a YA historical fiction. No, it's a YA historical fantasy. And it's set in the 1960s and it follows Evie. I actually don't know if her name is supposed to be pronounced Evie or Evie, but whatever. Evie, and she struggles to find her place in the world among her family and she is one of the women who has magical abilities because in her family magical abilities is passed down from woman to woman kind of like in some of salt in a way you know so basically like i said it's historical fantasy and it's set in the 1960s personally i rated this book three stars because i didn't end up loving it i was intrigued by the story initially but as the story progressed i realized three things a the story is way more romance driven than i was anticipating and I didn't love that because I didn't really feel like there was any like real chemistry between the, the two characters at all. Like I didn't ship them. I didn't really love their relationship at all. B, like I said, the story is set in the 60s and I didn't really understand why. Like I feel like this story would have had the same effect if it was set in modern day. I feel like usually when authors choose a time period for their story to be set, it's usually to like reflect on like the importance of that time period or to tell a story in that time period, you know what I mean? Like, it usually if you choose a historical time period to set your story in, then you're making a statement that the story would have been different if you set it in modern day. And this story, I feel like, could have been the same if it was set now. So I don't really understand why the author made that choice. And also, the third thing is that I was not emotionally connected with Evie at all. Like, I didn't care about her, I didn't care about her romance. I was way more interested in what was happening to her than her herself. You know, basically, I enjoyed this book the same amount that I enjoyed Legendborn, which I never included in any recent release videos, because Legendborn ultimately disappointed me. But I can't say that this book disappointed me, because I already had low expectations with it, going into it, whereas with Legendborn, I had high low expectations. You know? So, basically, I gave this book three stars. I'm so sorry, by the way, if this review is like all over the place, but welcome to my channel. The next book on the list is another YA historical fantasy 
and it is The Silver Serpent, which is the sequel to The Gilded World. I really enjoy this book. I enjoy this book more than I did for The Gilded World. It was so, so good. I really enjoy the diverse cast of characters. I enjoy the fast-paced, action-packed plot. I enjoyed all the plot twists. I really, really enjoyed the world building. Like, this story was so, so good. And I am more excited for the third book in this trilogy than I was for this book. I'm pretty sure this is a trilogy just because most authors either write trilogies or duologies or they continue it and they write like five or six books. I don't know. I'm assuming that this series is a trilogy. But anyway, I'm just so so excited for the third one. I have no idea what it's called. I don't think there's a cover or a title or even a release date or anything. I'm assuming that it's going to come out in 2021 because the Silver Serpents came out this year and then the Gilded Wolf Wolves came out in 2019. And that's what authors usually do. They usually have a book come out each year if they're writing like a series. Anyway, I'm so so excited for the third one because this one was so so good. I ended up rating it four stars, but like I enjoyed it more than I did the Gilded Wolves if you didn't catch my drift by the 5,000 times that I've said that. So basically, please, please go read this trilogy because it is so 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 good. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called Echo Mountain. This book is a middle grade historical fiction and it follows Elia as she navigates to a new life in the rocky terrain of Echo Mountain. I really, really enjoy this book. First of all, I love middle grade. Second of all, I really, really enjoy historical fiction. And honestly, it's been a minute since I've read a historical fiction that wasn't set during World War II. You know, I feel like World War II is a very popular, common time period to write about. So honestly, it was refreshing to read about a time period that wasn't World War II. Not to say that World War II isn't a very important, necessary time period to write about, you know? But it's also not the only important time period, you know? So anyway, Echo Mountain was so, so good. I really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it four stars. I feel like I've given many books in this recent these videos four stars in this specific video in particular. But anyway, this book was so, so good. It gave me a very like cozy, almost whimsical, magical vibe to it. I don't really know how to describe that. But like, I really enjoyed Ellie's voice and her characterization. And honestly, I enjoyed this book so, so much because it reminded me a lot of the year we fell from space, which I thought at first sounds like a weird comparison since the year we fell from space is contemporary and deals with something completely different. But I think it's just because the two protagonists remind me of each other, if that makes any sense. So anyway, this story was so, so good. And it gave me, like I said, a cozy, whimsical vibe. So maybe it's perfect for those autumn vibes that some people are experiencing at this moment. Because I believe this video is going up on Halloween. But anyway, basically I enjoyed this book. It's middle grade historical fiction set during the Great Depression. And I gave it four stars. The ultimate book on this list is called Breathless written by Jennifer Neven. I actually don't know if it's Neven or Niven. But anyway, this book is a YA contemporary. And if you didn't know, this is the same author of All the Bright Places, which I really, really enjoyed. I rated that book five stars and I rated this book four and a half stars because it was so, so, so good. I fell in love with Jennifer's writing. Her writing reminds me of like a mixture of like Kath Crowley and Nina LaCole. So if you've read anything by those two authors, or if you've read Jennifer's previous books, I think that you would also fall in love with this story as well. It follows Claudine, I think that's how you pronounce her name. And anyway, after her parents get divorced, her mom takes her to this remote island to just like escape everything, basically. So, and she, this is not the way that her summer was supposed to go. And like she's down the dumps and everything until she meets a boy. And you know, you probably can guess where this story is going to head. This story was so, so, so good. Like I said before, I loved the writing. Like, Jennifer's writing is so lyrical and beautiful and so, so wonderful. And honestly, I fell in love with the way that she was telling the story than the actual story itself. Like, don't get me wrong, the story itself was also really good. Like, Claudine was a good story, was a good story. Did I just say that she was a good story? She's a good character. The romance was well-developed. Everything was great, but the writing, in specifically, was so superior to the rest of the other elements. I don't know if, if what I'm saying makes
makes any sense at all but basically i rated the store four and a half stars because i did really really enjoy it all the black places is superior holding up the universe i would say is still jennifer's worst book so if i were to rank all of her books that i've read so far i would rank them all the black places blacklist and then holding up the universe so anyway there's that i love jennifer's writing is the moral of this story so the last book on this list is called beyond the ruby veil this book is a ya fantasy and i ended up waiting at three and a half stars i enjoy this story it follows this girl named emmanuela and after she accidentally kills the only person in their city who creates water for them she must find a way to save her city from dying of thirst i enjoy the story like the concept and the plot is intriguing to me the world building was intriguing i just wish that there was more to this story it felt very short like i just wish that there was more to it you know like i'm intrigued with this story and with this universe and with emmanuel's like characterization because i did enjoy her as a character i enjoyed her ambition and her drive and it was just really cool to see her go on this journey you know what i mean but like if this series is longer than a duology then i'm not invested that much you know like i do want to read the sequel to this series but i'm hoping that it will end as a duology because if there were more books like i'm not that invested into this series you know what i mean i don't know if that makes any sense but basically i did enjoy this story i gave it three and a half stars because i like the world building i like emmanuel's characterization and personality and i am intrigued enough to read one sequel but if there are more sequels than that then i don't care you know i don't know if that makes any sense so anyway i gave this book three and a half stars so yay so in conclusion the worst aka the lowest rating book in this list was definitely daughters of jubilation and the highest rating book aka the best book in this list was definitely breathless so anyway if you enjoy this video please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up comment down below why you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye